Welcome back to another video of Science Lab and Tech and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a platformer game. So first let us start by painting a sprite. So we're going to make this little blob. I'm going to put, pick the white color for his eyes. And, this, and I'm going to increase the outline. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this. Thus, creating our character. So in today's video, we're going to do the starting scripts. So first, let us zoom in. I'm going to click, pick a when flat click block. And here we are going to broadcast a message to the sprites. We're going to say broadcast green flag click click. Yeah, green flag clicked. So now when I receive green flag clicked forever, now we're going to broadcast another message called as TikTok. And now we're going to say when I receive TikTok, now we have to cre create a custom block. So let's say make a block. And here I am going to type player physics. Now we're going to add the keys right, left, and up. We're going to add the keys right, left, and up as Boolean conditions to the editor. Please don't mind the background noises. So after that, we're also going to add another thing called as friction and we're going to say add an input number or text and I'll name it friction this is only a label this is the number so let's say okay and as soon as we get that we get define player physics left right up and friction so the player physics we can say we want it to be so for right, instead this boolean can any boolean condition can fit here. But so we are going to take the key space pressed from the sensing section and put key right arrow pressed for the right condition. And this and left should come in the middle part. So we are going to say key left arrow pressed. And last we have to put the jump key, which we are going to say key up arrow pressed and we are going to keep the friction part as 0 0.9 so now let us start by defining the key controls i have i'm going to zoom in a bit zoom out yeah this fits so take two if blocks and then drag these two boolean conditions from up there and now we are going to create a variable named as x for this sprite only another variable y for this sprite only and we're going to say change x by 0 0.9 which is our friction rate and then we got to say change with left then change x by minus 0 0.9 which is that and now we have to code something that puts friction now it, this may increase the thing, but it is not giving us friction and neither is it changing the X moment. So this is not what we are supposed to do. Also, we have to initialize these X and Y variables at the start of the game. So we'll take, go to the variable section, drag to set variable blocks and put X and Y instead of my variables and set them to zero. So yes, this is the part. And now we're go going to go back to coding the physics. So first we got to go to the motion section and then put change x by. And this time we go to the variable section and drag it, drag x there. So now we got to say set x to. Here's where you go to the operator section and you drag an into block. After that you type 0 0.9. 
or otherwise you can just put the friction part from up there over here and this part is going to be the x variable so let's right click this duplicate and let us place this here so what you will see is that we now have friction the player does not stop immediately it takes some time for him to stop if you want to reduce the friction all you have to do is reduce this like if i say 0 0.5 then he will move way slower so i'm going to say 0 0.5 8 because I feel that is the place where balance is there so yeah that's that now we managed to code friction but we now have to code gravity as well so we'll create a new sprite or paint a new sprite and we are going to paint just a small line I'll increase the thickness one minute set the x to 0 and set the y to 0 also now this is our code so this is our platform we'll rename it to platform our stage now we have to code something that uh, first changes the gravity so let us go to the motion section and we'll say the change y by minus 1 and then change y by uh, y change y by the variable y so this code should change this code should add gravity to it yes we have gravity yes but it should stop and then it should stop when it hits the platform right so we got to add an if condition here i think and so i'm going to add these over here and we're going to say if touching platform or stage then change y by one For those of you who think that it will change y by 1, it will not. Which is why, instead of doing that, what you're supposed to do is go to if, put another if block after gravity, and say if touching platform or stage, then change y, drag it into operators, change y by block, and put this y variable into the intersection put this intersection here and over here instead of putting 0 0.9 or something like that like we did in the friction case put minus 1 now what this block does is that it should prevent you from falling in so there you go we have gravity but it still falls down why why does it still fall down after some time this is because it keeps changing the code and after that this this thing can't hold it for long so we have to set the y to 1 or a or any positive value at this point. So we got to set the variable y to 1. So we're going to say set y to 1. Now let us drag this guy up and press the green flag. And we have gravity. Yay! But now... What we have to do is that we have to code wall detection. Wall detection is not nearly as easy as you think it is. Because for wall detection, what you're supposed to do is that it's kind of the harder part in the platformers. And it's a bit hard to explain because this is scratch, not some other coding facility part. So I'm going to put this over here and press the green flag. But instead, it just goes through the wall like this which is not what we want it to do so in this case what we're going to do is that we're going to add another if condition and ask it that when if if it is touching the platform or stage then let it change x by this time we have to say x into minus one so remove the y put x instead and then we got to say set x to 0. 
set x to 0 so after this we're supposed to just drag it inside this part and voila we have wall detection but it's still jumping a bit up which we don't want it to do so we have to also add a change y by minus 2 block over here so but this does not fit so this is not our idea so we can say change y by minus 1 okay this fits it shows us perfect wall detection so that's that but now we have to code ceiling detection ceiling detection is quite easy honestly because we've already done the ceiling detection how you ask because we don't remember we have coded it so this not only works to push the guy upwards this block if touching platform or stage change y by y into minus one not only works for the guy falling downwards from the stage but if you were to fall up if you were to go upwards also it will push you because y velocity becomes a positive number and that shows that he is jumping and thus if he hits his head to the top of the ceiling, then he will fall back. This is what this block puts into effect. So after that, that's it. That's the block coding that you have to do. And now we have to add just a jump coding. So let's do that. So let us drag another if condition and we'll drag the up boolean that we put earlier i'll zoom in a bit so this up condition is supposed to come in the end so we can say change y by minus one before it just to stabilize stabilize the y and then after that we should change change y by one so now if up key is pressed and we want to set y velocity to 15 okay yeah now we can jump but we don't have proper ceiling detection yet i mean he 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 just goes up but he can do double jumps or triple jumps or quadruple jumps and this is because we are not making him to touch the stage yet so we'll drag another if condition and we are going to say if touching platform or stage then if the key up is pressed then only you jump now you can't do double or triple jumps so as you can see we have perfect ceiling detection perfect wall detection and perfect many things but now we have to add perfect slope detection too otherwise the platformer will be impractical to do so let us add a slope so as you can see it cannot climb up the slope that's because we haven't put any block that asks him to do it. So all you have to do in this case is just increase these. So what you're supposed to do is that you're just supposed to take an if touching platform or chase change by by one block and then keep duplicating them and keep throwing them inside of each other like this. Like basically in each and every if condition. And after that, you just put it inside along with the X, change the X by block that does wall detection for you. So I think this is way more than enough. So all you have to do now is put all of this stuff in here. And now voila, we should get perfect ceiling detection. As you can see, yeah, we can walk perfectly through the ceiling, uh, not through the ceiling, through the slope. We are walking quite fine honestly so that is for the first part of this platformer in the next part i am going to be explaining you guys how to add levels to the platformer so thank you for watching and please don't forget to like share and subscribe